Hey, welcome back to my Perla Reviews. So, we're reviewing the eye. <laughs> and don't say a word. Okay, we're going to start with don't say a word. I did not watch this, so my review will be as quick as mine is. But do Oh. Okay, don't say a word. It's about these um, rovers. They still like a, a rare red diamond from like a, uh, I think a bank or something like that. Is that a red diamond at the bank? I don't know. Alright. And I guess they, they get caught and like someone takes the red diamond and stuffs it in the doll. Uh -huh. And like 10 years later, they're after the red diamond. Uh -huh. So they kidnap, um, um, uh, uh, I'm like Liam Neeson. Yeah, I think he plays in it. Are you sure? I thought it was Michael Douglas. I don't know. So, so they kidnap his daughter. This sounds just like, uh, almost like Night of the Hunter or, uh, the <sighs> Wait Until Dark. But go ahead, sorry. Yeah, so they kidnap his daughter and... They kidnapped Liam Neeson's daughter. This has never happened in any other movie ever. Sorry. Right? And uh, they keep his daughter till till he um brings them the the doll. Why don't they, they just kidnap the doll? It's like it'd be easier to kidnap a doll than it would be the daughter. Yeah, the doll is. Well, you just ask the girl. Where's your doll at? Here's a hundred bucks. Tell me where your doll's at. That's all you gotta do. Okay. No, the girl. The, there's a girl. It's mm. insane asylum. Yeah. And oh, I never it? tell. Pretty Murphy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And and the what's she doing lately? She's dead. Oh. And the diamonds stuff in, inside her doll, mm. and in a box somewhere. So Liam Neeson, I think. It's Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas or whatever. So um. We'll keep referring to him as Liam Neeson though. Yeah. Okay. Raz Agul. And I don't remember what the so, little taken character's name was. He has to go to a say sign and talk to the girl. Yeah. The, Brittany Murphy. Yeah. To find out where the doll is and uh -huh. to give him the diamond. Which Liam Neeson, I said Liam Neeson, doesn't know about the diamond. That's about the whole movie. That sounds interesting as shit. Yeah. I liked it. Oh. That's a classic. A classic? Yeah. You're really throwing the word classic in there? Yeah. Alright, alright. It's your show. It's your opinion. I, um, I actually remember this came out. Like, I remember it came out on, when it came out on VHS. And, um, I want to say we may have even rented it. And, like, I just went to bed early or something like that. Like, I didn't watch it. I didn't stay up and watch it with everybody. I was like, fuck it. I watched my movie. And then, like, the next morning, they're like, you want to watch it? I'm like, nah. But you go ahead, I'm, I'm good. And then, fast forward to today, or present day, and she's like, I'm going to review, don't say a word, you want to watch it? I'm like, nah, you go ahead. It is, it is a, this doesn't seem interesting to me at all, like, at all. It seems like a low-rate thriller, but it's just me. This is my opinion. It, it may be awesome. Okay. I'm about to review something. I'm about to review something. The sleeves are coming up. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, sorry. Okay, the next movie review is The Eye. Okay. Just one. Okay. Even though both her eyes are fucking... <laughs> they do the surgery on both eyes. We'll just call it the eye. I guess you don't see out of the other one. Okay. Who is it? Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba. Oh my god. Okay. She's been blind since like she was five. And I think she gets surgery and get like some new eyes. like Corneal transplant. Yeah, 15 years later. So... Her, she gets used to the eyes, but then she's like sees like visions like before someone dies. Yeah. Basically, so she freaking sees like dead people. She sees dead people. So she keeps asking the doctors about it, and they didn't. They don't say nothing. They just said um, it's normal or something like that. You're just getting used to your eyes. Yeah. This is the first time you ever got to see. So, um, she ended up, uh, going to Mexico 
to find out whose eyes they are. Oh yeah, she did, didn't she? I forgot about that. Yeah. We just watched it the other night, dude. Yeah. This is like with the Mexican town. So like that. basically, really the thought. whole movie, she's trying to get answers. That's what these movies are about. Always trying to yeah. find answers. Trying to find answers. Why the questions. Getting the the dead people. Dead Why she's saying what she's saying? Yeah. That's the base, like the whole movie. That is the whole movie. Yeah. Okay. I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was kind of scary. Really? Yeah. Alright. Did you jump? Yeah. Or what, what part did you jump the, on? Where she's in the hospital and that little ghost, like, ghost comes up to her, like, in her face. Uh. Yeah. Jump scare. Yeah. Uh. I watched this way back when it first came out, way back. I'm an old man. Uh, 2007, I think, is when it came out. Or 2008. I can't remember. Anyway, I saw it uh, in theaters. Um, I remember thinking it was alright. Uh, at that point, it's kind of, it definitely slowed down now. But at that point, if you guys remember, it was like any time there was any, any Asian horror film, they were just going to remake that shit regardless. Like, they're just like, shit, Ring did great. Let's just remake them all. And sometimes it worked out. The Grudge is pretty good. I even like Shudder. I don't think it got very good reviews, but I like Shudder. Uh, but then, of course, sometimes you get, like, one missed call or The Eye. Uh, the Eye isn't bad. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. It's not great by any stretch of the imagination. The fact that they call it The Eye and both the eyes. I mean, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's just me being a little bitch, but I'm sorry. I thought that was just funny. Um, the one thing... They tried too hard to scare you. And it's funny because like the director, like I've read where he stated like, we want to make it like where, you know, the audience doesn't know what they're seeing is real or not. I'm like, well, clearly what we're seeing is what she's seeing and they're ghosts because no one else is seeing them. So clearly they're haunting her. It's not a case of like, is she going crazy or they go, no, we all know they're ghosts. Like who actually watches movie thinking like, maybe she's just going crazy. I don't know. Like maybe she's just going nuts. No, I'm sorry. You knew they were ghosts and premonition and shit like that. Um, so that, that, that kind of bugged me. I kind of wish it would have actually went more that route to where maybe she was going crazy. I think that would have been a, even a better story. to Because uh, we all expect you get new eyes and now you see ghosts. I would have much rather if she gets new eyes and she just goes crazy. She thinks she sees ghosts, but she's not being haunted at all. Like Literally, she's just fucking going nuts. To me, that's a better story. Um, like There's a scene early on where they, you know, she gets the eyes... And when she opens them, everything's blurry. Like, right now, everything's blurry for me. I don't have my contacts in. Um, but it's, like, super bad. Like, you literally can't see. She can't see shit hardly. So there's a doctor and the nurse, and I believe her sister is there, too. But or her you, mother. That's not her mom. It's her sister. Okay. Parker Posey is your sister. But then in the back, you see this, like, dark shadow of a guy. And then he just turns and walks away. But they have this ominous music playing. Like, clearly, like, oh, pay attention. This is something that shouldn't be there. And then, of course, he just walks out of the front. And it's even like, Dum, you know. And she don't even mention it. Like, I would have been like, you know. Like, and clearly, you know, maybe she wouldn't know. Because the could, could be a, she thinks she's crazy. Well, that's what's that. Maybe it could have been, like, a another assistant, a doctor's assistant, or a nurse's assistant, or whatever the case may be. Another nurse, or whoever the fuck it could be. But yet, the music indicates that she realizes that he should, like, that shouldn't be there. But it's like, wouldn't you still be like, well, who are you? Like, she instantly just goes like this weird, like, I feel very weird about this. To instead of just being like, who's that guy? And then they could have done the whole, like, the fuck are you talking about? And then we could have been, duh, music plays. No, it was just like instantly, like, she already knows something's not right. Um, I don't know. It's like, it's all building up to this big... Uh, without, I don't want to give too much away. It reminded me a lot of, like, after watching it this time, it, I drew a lot more parallels to uh, the Mothman prophecies. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, which, I don't know, it was, it was a little lame. Um, I thought, lame. I, I, the, the conclusion, the uh, climax of the movie, I just didn't care for it. Um, it also, it seems like, yeah, she's seen people die, right? Yeah. And they're, the ghosts she's seeing are actually these, I mean, she sees ghosts too, but then she also, it's like she sees ghosts, she sees visions of the future, premonitions, yeah. but then she also sees like these dark, grim reaper type things. 
Because they're only following people around them who's dead. Yeah. So it's like, why are they scary? Death is just death. But they portray him as like these ghastly ghouls. It's like, no, like there's like a scene where as she's walking down the street, this girl's walking right in front of her, and they just kind of they they're supposed to collide, but then of course the girl goes right through Jessica Alba. And Alba's like, holy shit. And even the girl realizes, like, oh shit, I just walked through this person. Well, that threw me off too, don't get that second. But when she turns around, they're kind of staring at each other and everything. And then, of course, you hear commotion behind Jessica Alba. Now she turns around, and of course, there is that girl dead. She got hit by a car. Now, A, the fact that the girl got hit by a car, you would think, like, even if you're like, holy shit, I hit my car, and then you're dead, wouldn't you still be like, what, I just hit my car? And maybe, I, I mean, maybe you don't know you're dead yet. Maybe, I'll, I'll buy you that. Like, you don't realize you're dead. But wouldn't you still have that instant, that quick memory of, I just got hit by a car? You know what I mean? That like, car's barreling down. Holy shit! Oh! Whoa! I survived? How did I survive? Oh shit, my dead body. I didn't survive. No! She literally, like, gets like, oh! 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 I guess that's nothing. I'll just keep walking on like nothing. It, I don't know. It, it, that kind of bugged me. Uh, so you have, like, a bit of a sixth sense thing going on there. But once again, well, what, after it happens, that dark Grim Reaper thing shows up to take her away. Like, that's all it is. Like, it's, but they, they try to portray it as like a scary, like, it's a, uh, it's like, it's not even going to hell. It's just death. That's all it is, is death taking you to the other side. And I just got like, don't go with her. Don't run with it. You go with it, you're going to die. It's like, I think she's already dead. I think it's okay. Uh, there's a very young, uh, glowy Grace Morez in this movie, which I didn't realize that was Chloe. her. Chloe? He's said glowy. Did I? Yeah. Uh, anyway, she's uh, she's in the movie, and she plays a young girl who's... Um, she has cancer, I think. No, she has a tumor. Brain tumor. Yeah. And, um, That's cancer. Okay. Anyway, so she, uh, as she, you know, she shows up early on, she's all, you know, full of life and energy, but then whenever uh, Jessica Alba returns to the hospital, she sees her, and right off the bat, you know she's dead or... At least on her way out. But same thing, like this Grim Reaper shows up to kind of... And then he's like, Chloe's not even showing like she's scared or anything. I forget what her name was in the movie, but she's not even showing fear. Because like, when you're dead, you know, Reaper shows up for you, you go with him. That's just what you do. But like Alva's like, no! Don't go! And of course they turn around and snarls at her, or snarls at her and everything. And you're like, really? So just a little thing like that that kind of irritated me about this movie. Um... Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna lie. I gave it a slight thumbs up before I came on here and started ranting. I'm trying to think of the good stuff, and there ain't really a whole lot of good stuff. The jump scares were very predictable. Uh, the only there was one creepy part. There's a part where she's in a cafe, and is it the doctor or is it just like the guy who's like like a counselor is trying to help her? I think it's the doctor. Okay, so the doctor, go, you know, she's talking to no, no, it was um, it was her violin, the conductor. Oh. And anyway, so he uh, he's trying to talk. That's the thing, like when she she goes from being blind to coming back, and that that would be a you know, once you're able to see, that'd be a huge thing to undertake. But it's like she she can't play music anymore. Like it, she messes up somehow, like a lot more than than she used to. Which I'm like, you know, if it's your career, like she's like professional, you know, musician. Wouldn't you just close your eyes? Wouldn't that just help you better then? But anyways, uh, so they're at the cafe and. He was all, like, early on, like, we're here, like, we're, we're all behind you, we're gonna stand behind you this shit. And then, like, it's just, he's just like, you know, maybe this was just a bad decision, or whatever. So he goes to go pay, or wow, what the fuck he's doing. And there's this woman that just walks by, and I forget what she's rambling about, because it never even comes back to her. But apparently, she's a ghost, and she was just pissed off at Jessica Alba. And she's like, they tell me, and her voice keeps getting darker, and she just looks creepy anyways. That's a pretty good scene, I like that scene. Um, yeah, other than that, I didn't, well, there's a scene where, uh, I don't get too much away, but she goes into a restaurant, because after she's starting to see shit, she goes into a restaurant, and then, <laughs> she sees, like, a fire break out, this is, and this ain't even like a premonition, this is more like something she saw from the past, so I guess we'll put this under the ghost category, but what happens is, you actually see fire breaks out, it cuts to, she's literally inside a burnt down restaurant, and the fire, Two, three weeks ago. Yeah. So, and that, that was kind of a cool little, you know, thing right there. Uh, but a lot of stuff just wasn't scary. Like, there's a scene where there's this boy that's in the hallway constantly asking about his report card. And it's trying to be scary. Like, the kid's following her, and she's just like, ah, 
running down the hallway and the kid's just walking behind her. It's not even creepy. And I don't know. Now, I've never seen the original. This is an American remake. I have not seen the, the original I uh, would like to. I don't know how much it differs from this one. We did see a trailer for part two, and part two was pretty cool. It had a pregnant woman. Yeah. Talking about Jap the Japanese version. There ain't no American version. This one, I believe, was kind of shit on by everybody. It maybe it made some money, but it got shit on by critics big time. So, it killed any chances for uh, a part two. So, uh, so yeah, that's all I can say. I, don't know. I, I, I was giving it a slight thumbs up, but I think after that review, I got to kind of go down with it. It's, it's a slight thumbs down. Thumbs up. Uh, and thumbs on top of that. I mean, I, I, we shouldn't watch movies right, like where I'm tired. Like, I literally try not to do that. But she was like, we got you know, to review this. I'm like, all right. I've been there before. I, you know, I'm always trying to cram movies in during the week. You know, I know I'm going to review on Saturday. So I was like, all right, let's watch it. And I was just really tired, too. So, And I've been watching a lot of Cinema Sins lately. Cinema Sins will turn you into an asshole. I swear. Because now as I'm watching this movie, I got Jeremy's narration in my head as I'm watching the movie. And I'm just like, fuck. Like, it, it, I, I'm, I'm an asshole now. Like, I really am. Like, I was definitely, I've always been an asshole, but I'm definitely more of an asshole right now. So, you still love me? Even if I'm an yeah. asshole? Well, thank you, sweetie. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I got. I'm yeah. tired of rambling. I'm sorry. Okay. That's it. Till next video, which will be Monday. What's Monday? What we did Monday? Question of the week. All right. Top three. Yeah. Oh, oh, your top three? Yeah. So, I won't be here for that. No. All right. Till.